called. I hope you're doing well. Doing well. I, I don't know why I just did that. Um, but uh, I think I hit start recording and was kind of caught off guard. <laughs> Welcome back to another Cover Lover, baby. And um, I'm glad you made your way back and I hope you enjoy what I'm about to do. What I do on this channel, and I said before I wasn't going to say it anymore, but maybe I should. <laughs> what I do is I take a cover, I take a song you suggest or that I think of, and I find a cool cover to it. Sometimes you suggest a cover and I use yours, and other times I find my own. But also I like to take sometimes a cover of a song and do another cover of it and battle them together. So today, uh, this goes out to Lex World from April. Um, I told you that I have a, 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 a Gmail account that's totally um, devoted devoted to uh, suggestions, right? Because when people leave them below, I forget about them, I, I erase them, whatever. And I used to take pictures and that was unwieldy. <clears throat> so I told everybody in April, make sure that you send your re request to this Gmail. And I never looked at it. My brain exploded. I don't even know if it was my brain exploding. I just never looked at it. And um, I apologize for that. But I'm starting to catch up on that side now and uh lex world sent this to me in april and i will say this is a song i'll talk more about the uh, the email address when i uh, it'll be in the description and all that anyway this is a song that i have covered at least three times and uh, i checked because i thought this is familiar but uh i've covered it with uh, other people doing the response this is Radiohead's Creep. I love this song, always have. I was an older man. I'd say older man, I was probably in my 40s, early 40s, when when the, the, this genre of music was popular, kind of the angstrom in the genre, maybe a little younger. <laughs> but I was so was a well-written song, good, very, very kind of dark. But um, people seem to love it, and I get requests for it a good bit. This is... A, Radiohead's Creep, and then the cover is by a person I'd never heard of, Homeless Mustard, and uh, on the Opie and Anthony show, Opie and Anthony, yeah. And I remember that show vaguely. I don't know that I've spent much time, like, you know, listening to it or anything, but um, I don't, I did not listen to the cover. I want to be surprised, but the, the original song I know very well. Um, so let's get right into it, and then, again, I will make some comments, and then we'll be done. Here we go. Oh, this, this is Radiohead doing creep. I'm going to start it all over again. But I would be remiss to do a video and start it and stop it all in the same place. I'll, I don't know I'll ever do that, but it, that their stances and they're all slouching around. They're all really disinterested. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a, in the 70s, 60s, and 70s, the term was heroin chic. <laughs> uh, yeah, those guys probably are doing some uh, barbiturates, you think? Their moms are probably mad at me right now, but here you go. Special, 
I've done that song a bunch, and it never, it never ceases to. Uh, I love it, um, and I like to order um, a big angst sandwich with a side of despair. It was, it was great. Those guys are great. Um, I think they're vying for who could be a skinniest guy in the band. Um, stage right guitar player. Um, they look like he's playing tell I couldn't really tell. But I love that choke, that real heavy choke that he does when they go into the to the real hard part. And the dynamics on that song are amazing. Um, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention because I've seen it so much. I probably should. I couldn't tell what the stage left guitar player was playing. No, stage right. We got it wrong. Stage right uh, and the stage left was the man that was doing the kid that was doing the choke. Uh, on the guitar, and I know the band, and I've heard a few of their songs, uh, but that that song I've heard every time, and I still love it. It's great. Um, now I'm going to go on to the next song. <clears throat> also, because I don't know, because I don't follow a lot of this kind of music uh, all the time. Uh, are they still around? Uh, did they disband? Are they dead from heroin overdoses? What was happening? Um, speaking of that, we're going to see. Um, this guy. Now, now Mustard, do you do, do any covers? covers? Sorry, guys. We get it up here. This is Homeless Mustard Creep cover on the opening and Anthony show. And uh, <coughs> I think they're still around, but I believe this is probably a while back as well. I don't know. I don't know this person at all. I didn't listen to it because, again, I wanted to be surprised. Uh, but um, here we go. Let's see what he is. Now, now mustard, mustard, do you do, you do any do covers? covers? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what do you do? do? Maybe we, hold on. What, what do you want to do? 
Yeah, you'll recognize this. Okay. Love it. It's a great anthem of my youth. I think we know that's all shit. I want to hear that. So he kind of looks homeless. So he's he, so I, no, if I offended any homeless people, I say, no, I apologize. Now, now Mustard, do you do, do any covers? covers? Yeah. What, what, what do you do? 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 Maybe we, hold on, what, what do you want to do? You'll recognize this. Okay, Mustard. It's a great anthem of my youth. I think we know that's all shit. I want to hear this interpretation. When you hit a fall, could look you in the eyes. You float like a feather, and your skin and make me cry. You're just like an angel in this beautiful world. You're so fucking special. I wish I was special, <clears throat> but I'm a creep. I'm a Just for time's sake, really, um, I don't think he's coming back or I have any, any more to what he did. Um, <coughs> on the technical side, <coughs> sorry, started out really good. And they're in a sound booth for the radio show, right? And uh, they're popular guys, and so they got the best equipment. What I noticed about him, the mustard guy, is that he, uh, that's a great name, mustard guy. Um, I got another name for him, too. Anyway, um, is that he started the song on 10 really i mean he had really nowhere to go and so when he went into the really hard part of the song get, get up in the mic to increase the level without increasing his voice and it was pegging it was it was making that, that nasty kind of uh, the sound that we don't like <laughs> and you know what's not i'm talking distortion and uh but when he when he laid back and pulled back from the mic it was sounded very good his great voice um, it was just a tad pitchy, but you would expect it to be because it was impromptu, right? 
he decided to do that song. They asked him, do you know any covers, do you know any songs? And he chose that one. Um, it wasn't it wasn't an insane pitch. He has a very, very good voice. Um, I was just wondering when Redbeard decided to get into the uh, to that game. I don't know. But he did. Anyway, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you watched, if you liked it, hit like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff that you know how to do. And hopefully I'll see you again on the next time around. Thanks, world. Next world.